This morning we're going to be doing a soda summit. This thing is going to be, well, let's see, right about over there. Javi is going to be our group leader. Uh, that's Javi K6 TNT. And it's going to be 1.3 miles up a very steep hill and then back down. It's a four pointer. It should be fun. I think there's going to be four or five people going to activate. And we're hoping that down here in the valley, we're going to have enough people to help us get this thing activated. So this should be an easy one. I don't have any HF antennas for my KX2 to do a Soda Summit. So I'm going to take the uh, HT with me. I'm going to be using a VX8 that I have for today. It's about 45 degrees out here. That sounds cold, but it's really not. The sun's coming up right over camp this way. It's a 20 minute drive, I think Javi said, from here at camp to the base of the mountains over there. Just one of the activities to do here at Quartz Fest. All right, once we get our food in the belly and get some drinks, carry some water, it's important to drink water when you're on the desert, especially as windy as it is out here. You'd be amazed at how fast you can dry out and not even realize what's happening. And this is gonna be an awful lot of fun. So we're on this summit, or we're on our way up the summit here. Camp's out about that way. We're just about halfway up here. There's another group. You can't really see them. They're, uh, they're ahead of us. They started a little bit earlier. They're gonna get to the top. And the plan may be to get a soda complete. So we can be the chasers and the first group be the activator. So getting a soda complete for the first one for this first time summit will be good. And I'm out of breath because that's a pretty darn big hike. We got Javi, who's our professional leader here. He's gonna get us to the top. We are walking, uh, sh we're shaded from the wind. And now we're not, we're out in the wind. It is blowing like a mother. Now if we just have it so it can push us up the hill, that'd be a good thing, like right there. But from here you have this amazing view. I'm making this a sightseeing trip and Javi's just saying, get with the program and keep getting it to the top of the hill. Push, push. Push. <laughs> he is a slave driver. We're nearing the top. It's right there. So, we're halfway there. All right, if you know what these balls are for, all right, here's another view. You've got these, there are four of them. They're different colors as they span their way up to the top of the tower system up there. That's the new power lines that they've run here. They're not on every line, just on the top one. I'm guessing it might be for airplanes or some aircraft flying by to let them know that they're there, but I really don't know. So if you know what these are, let me know in the comments down below. So it's cool to find out what this stuff is out here. A half an hour since we started and we're just about to the top. Well, Javi probably has an accurate time. It's probably been two hours. What'd your time say? One hour. One hour. So one hour into this hike, mostly straight up, but uh, here we are at the top. And we're gonna get a soda complete, which is pretty good since we're not even near the top yet. All three of us, K7, YAA, K6, TNT, Javi, and, uh, and me. With Red Summit RF, that's who we made contact with. I can't even hold the camera because I'm passing out nearly. So there are rewards at different parts of the hike. If you've never done a soda before, they're not all this hard. But even this being hard, it's fun. You get to chat it up, learn new things, and uh, at the end you get to activate. Oh yeah, look at all this. You got your generator, all your microwave, and here's all your other UHF, VHF, and everything else band. I made it to the top. We got something over here. What a hike. E7 Alpha, Alpha Whiskey 056, uh, calling CQ. Kilo 6, Romeo Delta Juliet, Kevin. Kilo 6, Romeo Delta Juliet, thank you for that. I appreciate your 5'9 here on my summit. Kilo, Kilo 6, Uniform Sierra Yankee. Kilo, Kilo 6, Uniform Sierra Yankee, thank you, Chuck. You're also 5'9 and 20 over on my summit. 
Copy the 20 over, you are 5-9, and I don't have a 20 over on this radio <laughs> signal. Thanks, Chuck. Appreciate it. Uh, anybody else for the summits on the air? Uh, you're at a 5-9 down here into the camp. This is uh, Whiskey Alpha 6, uh, Juliet Lima. K-7, Sierra Whiskey, Kilo Bravo 9 or Romeo Lima Whiskey. Kevin, north of Yuma, over. Oh, thanks, Kevin. I appreciate that. <laughs> I, I love your channel. Love what you do there. WB6, call the uniform Yankee. You are 5-9 up on my summit today. Thanks for helping me activate the summit. And 5-AQM, Mike down here, Quartfester 5-9. Uh, Whiskey Mike 6 Tango. Whiskey Mike 6 Tango, uh, thank you for uh, helping me activate. You are 5-9 up on my summit today. Thank you, everybody, for helping me activate this uh, this summit. K7SW. ACQ summits on air. This is Kilo Six Romeo India November on Mount Cunningham. Okay, Whiskey United Seven Hotel got you on the log here. If you come back, we'll give you a signal report. Okay, Roger, Roger. Yeah, you came up a uh, little QSB. I got you five nine there at the end. Thank you very much for the contact today. Seven three. Okay, go ahead, summit to summit, go ahead. Okay, Roger, Roger, I hear Whiskey 6, November Charlie, 423, 423. CQ, CQ, Kilo 6, Tango, November Tango, CQ, CQ, Cunningham Mountain, Arizona. I copy Kilo Bravo Niner, Uniform Oscar, confirmed. Uniform, Hillel, Oscar, Fifth Wind, Colorado, running 50 watts at 10,000. Oh, 10,000 feet, wow. QSL. I'm running about 10 watts on a dipole. Give me a signal report, sir. We're about a 5.7 here in Fairplay, Colorado. Copy the 5.7. You're 5.3. I say again, 5.3. And uh, happy trails to you, sir. Thank you for the uh, QS, uh, QSL from Colorado. Kilo 6 Tango, November Tango. I uh, got you on my log. Kilo 6 Echo Lima. Have a good day, 73. This is K6 TNT. All right, everybody's activated. We did a little bit of HF that was over here. We saw Javi on the station with a couple of other guys. Everyone's activated two meters, and uh, we all got this thing set up. A few of us got a soda complete, which was an awful lot of fun. I expect it's going to be a lot easier than the trip up, and uh, it's definitely a lot warmer. It's sometime in the afternoon. Let's see. That's 11.26, so quite a big morning to get all this done. It's an awful lot of fun. Everyone had a good time over here. All right, here's something else about Summits on the Air. Um, you get to do these hikes, which is really fun, and you get to see scenic views like this. I gotta watch my step because it's still pretty steep going down, but check this out. Look at that, the desert goes on forever. We've got all this mountain range out here, which is fantastic, and I think that's a bunch of off-roaders were out there. That's where that uh, desert bar is. Parker, I think, is out that direction. Comes out through to the main road, and that's, I think that's where our camp's at. Of course, that's after our 1.3 miles back down the hill. The winds died down. It feels so much better. All right, made it back down to the bottom of the hill. From way up there, there's still quite a few guys that are up on top, but we're going to make it down. Head back to camp, get something to eat. Definitely something to drink. All right, I want to give a special shout out to Hobby K6 TNT for taking us on this adventure. If you haven't tried Summits on the Air, make sure you contact someone in your area and uh, see if you can get set up and have someone show you how to get this done. If you want to see more setup videos for Ham Radio, check this one out right here. 7-3 for now. See you next time.